We have new information tonight about the high drama rescues you saw unfold earlier tonight on Eyewitness News. Firefighters going into the fast moving Passaic River to help some workers out when suddenly those firefighters needed to be rescued themselves. Someone could have easily died. With the nail biting new details, here's Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon. The rushing water at the Dundee Dam Falls is no place for a boat ride. The swift current of the Passaic River is treacherous every day, but extra full today from recent rain. So when a boat with a small team of contractors working on a construction project upstream got disconnected from another boat and drifted, getting stuck teetering on the edge of the falls, the Clifton Fire Department was called in. We went out there with our boat and in an attempt to rescue them, our rescue boat went over the falls with our men in it and was submerged. The two firefighters in it had successfully rescued the workers, but now they themselves needed to be rescued from their partially submerged boat. They knew stepping out into the raging, angry water could be a deadly move. They would have to be rescued from above by the state police. They just happened to be in the area with their helicopter, which is amazing. Uh, the chief told me that they were just happened to be in the area and they were called, and so that helped. The dramatic scene unfolding on live television as Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson watched and gave a play-by-play -play from the bank. Just watching, you can see he's dangling. It looks like about a good 100 feet uh, from the bottom of that chopper. He did already lift somebody out of the water. They took them to the other side. With one firefighter rescued, it would take a few attempts to get the second one. The dangling state trooper swaying as he was lowered, with the helicopter blades churning the water and sending bits of foam flying. Looks like he's making it a little bit closer down to the water. He looks like he sends up some hand signals, and then they continue to just drop him down, slowly down into the Passaic River. And after 15 minutes, finally they got him. And look, there he goes. We're on the Garfield side of the falls, where we can still see both boats where they were earlier. The workers' boat still perched up on the falls, and the Clifton Fire boat still partially submerged in the same spot. The efforts to recover those can continue tomorrow, but tonight, all the people who were in those boats are safe and not hurt. Clifton's mayor says his firefighters train in this water, and they respect its danger.